Hi, boys and girls. My name is Mrs. Seals, and I'm the science lab teacher here at Pershing Park. I will be teaching our class a science lesson or doing a demonstration every week that we are doing this virtual learning. Um, this lesson will go along with what you're already learning in science with your teacher. Um, science lab is not for a grade, but these are activities to kind of um, enrich or add on to what you're already learning. And then once we come back to school face to face, you'll be coming to the science lab with your teacher each week and you will actually be getting to participate in the experiment or the investigation or it might be an observation, whatever we're doing that week that supplements what you're learning in your science class. Okay, I want Science Lab to be very fun. I want you to be excited to come in here. Um, if you have been at Pershing Park before, you know that we do a lot of fun things in here. But we have to remember that our number one priority or job at school is to be safe. Okay, and make sure nobody gets hurt. So because of that, we have to make sure that we have rules in place for everybody to follow so that there are no accidents. Okay, so we're going to quickly go ahead and talk about some of the rules um, that we're going to have here in Science Lab. So, let's see. I am going to share with you the Science Lab rules. So this says, welcome to the Science Lab. And then it has my name, Mrs. Seals. Um, there we go. All right, rule number one says follow directions the first time they are given. And here's a meme that says, my face after I just finished giving directions and a student asks me what to do. Have you ever seen your teachers make that face before? Okay, now again, like I said before, a lot of these rules won't really apply until we come back to school in person and you are coming into the science lab, all right? But whether we're online, whether we are in person, always make sure you're following directions. Rule number two says, use tools and materials correctly and safely. And then this little puppy, has his seatbelt on and it says safety first. So once we come back to school and you are doing um, experiments or investigations in the science lab, a lot of times you'll be using different science tools. I will always show you how to use the tools correctly and safely. So I need you to please make sure you're doing that. That way nobody gets hurt and we don't have any spills or accidents. Rule number three says, eat and drink only when given permission from a teacher. And then this one says, no food or drinks allowed in the lab. <laughs> okay, so um, the science lab is not a place where it is safe to eat or drink. I know if you've been at Pershing Park before, you might remember some you know, experiments where we have used food or something, or maybe we've used food for an activity, and then I give you a baggie and let you take it with you. Um, this year, because of everything that's going on, we will not be doing any activities with food in the science lab, all right? But I promise we will be doing some fun things. Rule number four says, be respectful to yourself and others. And then it says, to be successful, you must be respectful, all right? Just like I know that's a rule in your class as well. Always make sure you're being respectful to your friends, your classmates, your teachers, so that we can all learn. And then rule number five says, be ready to learn, work hard, and have fun. And then it says, are you working hard or hardly working? Um, especially once we come back into school and you are coming to the science lab with your class. It's very important that when we come in here, you're ready to learn and work hard. You only get to come into the science lab once a week. So we wanna make sure that we are taking advantage of the time that we do have in here. All right, um, well, I hope that you guys are a little bit more comfortable with the science lab now and what to expect and I, Hope to see you guys soon. Take care.